Again, if you had to say three things that, that formed you as a person as you grew up, let's say till the end of education, they still form a core part of who you are. Any any themes that yeah, uh, show up? Certainly. I think it's that ch- early childhood programming that actually persists hmm. uh, in a very, very profound way. Uh, I think the single most important influence in my life was my mother. Not surprising. But from her... Uh, she instilled me in a, a desire to excel and be successful. And I, I've not been able to uh, soften that conditioning very very much at all. So whatever I do, I try to pour all of myself into it and, um, and try and excel. So that's been a lasting one. The second is fairly early again, I realized I wasn't the brightest person in the room. And... The way I compensated for that is I worked harder than almost anybody else. So, um, and even today, whatever I do, I really do burn the candle at both ends in the middle. <laughs> so that's a, um, a, a important part of sort of growing up uh, in influences. Mm. A third one would be just because of my family and the people who, are, who were friends of the family. I grew up as a very curious boy. And there was a year where I had to drop out of school for medical reasons. Mm-hmm. And it was the best year because we lived near, in Chandigarh near a big state library. And so every day I'd daughter over to the library and come back with books that were way ahead of me. And way through at least one book a, a day. Wow. One book a day, just not really sort of reading every word. but And so I grew up with profound curiosity and not just a, a narrow curiosity, a boundless curiosity. I think that has served me fairly well. 